Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We've just got a quick one. Um, just got a quick one. It's the second video for today. I've got an unboxing, right? I literally just went back to my desk and I've just got a call from, you know, someone that I own in the post office. I've got a great relationship with them. They say, Felix, it just come over. You've got another watch coming. So, uh, so here we are. We're just going to unbox this. Now, a bit of, a bit of context between, between um, sort of before... How to say this, right? I mean, I've been collecting for the last couple of years, right? And you guys know this. I've uh, talked a couple of times. I I have a limit of money, limit amount of time, <laughs> to be honest, a limit of amount of slot in my watch box to collect. And you know, you guys know, right? I'm sticking with Seiko as the brand. I'm discovering some, you know, legends, and some has been discontinued. Some, you know, I truly believe all of them will become future classic in the affordable, in the affordable, in the affordable segments. I'm not hoping that they will be paying off portion of my mortgage if I still have a mortgage like that. But I, what I'm hoping, I'm just just having a bit of fun. Really, that's what it is, guys. All right. But since the channel is going so well, you know, I think you know, even looking at Christmas about a month ago, right? You know, 40 days ago, this channel had 45, 49 subscribers, and 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 now, sorry, just being waiting today. I I, I, I do understand that, but you know what? Today we've got you know over 350 subscribers. So when I look at the watch in the old days, I would think about the watch I am going to buy and keep, um, and keep it to myself, and I'll review them and talk about things that I see in different environment, do a bit of comparison, that kind of stuff. You know how I do things, right? But now. I'm a different, slightly different now. Again, I still have, I don't have an unlimited amount of money to spend. I don't have anyone giving me watches. I don't have sponsors. There's no, you know, there's no line watches. All watches are mine. So I'm going to spend my own hard-earned money to look the watch in my eyes and to tell you how I feel about them. So every time, when I get a bit of time, I go on eBay, I go on, you know, local Facebook marketplaces to try to source a watch. Of course, not brand new, okay? Most of them are secondhand, but used condition, but in a very mint condition. Again, I, you know, I use my experience to, to make a judgment about the seller, and, and I purchased the watch, right? So, instead of buying only one watch per collection, you know, for example, if I'm going to get a turtle, I get one turtle. Uh, one samurai, one tuna, uh, one baby tuna, all that kind of stuff, right? But now, I sort of change my attitude. If I see a watch that I think that I can bring some value my, in terms of comparison, talk about the way that I feel about them, you know, in their value, in the current lineup, how the Seiko is doing stuff, I'll buy them and I'll talk about it. And that can be duplicated, that, which is applies for today. So, you guys will see in a minute. I've already got a black turtle, the SRP777J. And this is not a turtle. And I'm hoping you guys will like it because I've got a bit of story to go on with this watch. Now, first of all, I purchased this watch on eBay from a local. Actually, he's already subscribed to the channel. I believe so. Thanks. Thank you very much for you know a very reasonable cost. I believe that's the way I look for this watch. I purchased uh, this watch. Let me just start opening up, guys. All right. Too much talking, Felix. Uh, a bit of thing that comes from the tag, so you guys can see what it is. Okay. I'll um, I'll just bring it close to the camera. So uh, we talk about we talk about the watch, and I just focus on the watch for a little bit more. Now you guys can see we let's just call this paddy turtle. Okay, let's just call it what it is. A paddy turtle. This is you know what? There are king version of the paddy turtles. I I know that, right? With the sapphire crystal, uh, with waffle dog, with ceramic bezel, but this is the OG paddy turtle. Guys, here's the thing, you don't this watch was released six years ago, as far as I know. I think uh, I look at the very old video the uh, Bruce Williams and Mark from uh, Long Island when they did it, there was back in two thousand seventeen or sixteen. All right, so from early days, it's a special condition, and Seiko's still making them. But from a models, um, models and serial number perspective, the the watches that I know applies to the same watch, of course. Paddy Turtle R, SRPA twenty one, SRPA twenty one J, being a J version, and there's of course there's SBD Vi. Uh, I could be wrong, zero three three. Don't don't quote me on that, right? But that's the JDM version. Which, interestingly, if you go into Japan uh, shopping online, which is one of the reputable watch dealers, right, that we, you know, even some of the big YouTuber watch, uh, YouTubers talked about it, right, if you check on their discontinued models, this model shows up, the SBD Y shows up, so they know something, the SBD Y of the SBD Y version of the Paddy Turtle is 
highly likely gone. And you guys know, right? With the recent remodel names uh, of the last couple of years, remodeling some of the prospects models, and this was one of them. So the model number of these is not SRPA anymore. Is um, just let me get the tag for you guys. Excuse me, give me one sec. So I know what we're talking about. Uh, there you go. SRPE 99. And the other SR, the black turtle I know is SRP 93 so they all honor the SRP line but again I don't believe SRP line only applies for turtle right so just bear that in mind uh, retail so this watch as far as I believe was purchased from uh, the authorized dealer in US because I tell you the reason why I bought this watch because I bought it so the seller sold it to me just let me show you, I get the focus right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Ah, this is a beautiful turtle, guys, without a doubt. Just try to shine a bit more light through it. Uh, so, this watch I purchased at 360 plus shipping, 375. Odd dollars that converts to, I don't know, maybe 2, 230, 240, below 250, definitely below 250 uh, US. Um, great condition. In terms of condition, I can't find any fault with it. I mean, the one thing that I normally judge from a, a watch uh, is simply look at the size photos because I've got a turtle, I know the size, I very easily scratch out. This is a new watch, guys. And even look at the, even look at the clasp and buckle. It, uh, you guys know, right? If you guys been having those bracelets, you know, if uh, you know, literally, if you wear this out in the out and about, you know, take you a couple hours to change to change the look through the bracelet. You put scratch on the scratches on it straight away. Uh, this watch is mint. It's um, absolutely faultless. It's a new watch buyer, right? So I think that was a great deal. Uh, not only because it is a great deal for a Paddy Turtle, it's because in Australia, we don't get SRP 99. Oh, we get SRP 99, but that it is a K. But this SRP 99 is a J, if you guys look at it, right? It's got the Made in Japan. Look, guys, believe it or not, I'm I'm just a big fan of Made in Japan <laughs> Seikos, right? Especially, I know, SPB lines, the, most of them, if not all, Made in Japan, right? But for Turtle, Samurai, all kind of stuff, you know, the entry level. Uh, of course, some of the uh, models that I still love, their only K version existing in the marketplace. But for this Paddy Turtle, I want a J version, and this is the J version. So I was a little bit confused about it because this SRP double nine, mm, there's no J behind it. So when I dig a little deeper, I realized, guys, if you go on, this is again for my US subscribers as well. If you go on markslinewatches.com and check out the SRP double nine, the tons of review, those watches are flying off the shelf as far as I know. He's selling about 425 or 430 thereabouts, right? I don't need to talk about Mark's line and watches, you guys don't know him. But if you look under the review on that, page uh, even though the photos on the page didn't capture the made in japan dial but if you guys look at the review down on the same page and customers bought these watches in double of the photos they all had a made in japan so i'm a bit confused but as far as some confusion goes i know the srp not double nine has a k and j but I don't know, man. I don't think Seiko's doing SRP double nine K or SRP double nine J, as far as I know. Even I'm not sure in Australia if they're selling the SRP double nine K. But anyway, that's one of the that's one of the major key points for me, right? Because it's made in Japan. And the other thing I love about it is, is most of the SRP. So I'm just get it. Um, most of the SRP, um, the new turtles, mainly in the last couple of years, they all installed with the three o'clock loom, all right, in order to satisfy the ISO certification of Divers 200, which make a lot of sense, right? But this one does not have that loom, you guys see? I love it. I just love it. I, I don't know, guys, look, it, it, it can be a strange thing that people want. I look, knowing that most of the divers that Seiko makes will always carry that three o'clock loom. Just on that one thing or one thing alone, just make me, makes me want to purchase the version that is without, especially those classics, um, classic Seiko 
legend so absolutely fantastic watch i mean tons of people already reviewed this watch to depths and uh you know since six years ago is one of the you know all-time favorite by all the watch lovers i don't have to talk about too much today's video is only going to be an unboxing uh full i'm just putting this on my wrist um full links as well the loom is already glowing Guys, turtle, you can't go wrong with turtle. Yeah, it's a big large, but you know what? 6309 was large at the time when 6309 was was released, you know? 30, I don't know, 30 odd years ago or 28, I don't know how many years, 1978? Actually, 40, almost uh, 40 years ago, 35 years ago, right? You can't go wrong with the shape, guys. I'm telling you guys, turtle is a great watch. And this patty, I call this the original, original turtle patty because it is all right so guys if you're on the fence about buying a turtle you can't go wrong with the 777 of course now it's the srp as well we call them the black turtle or the patty turtle i understand there are other turtle collector out there just collecting turtles they have nemo turtles they have crazy turtle that trades a lot of things they're high prices all right but i'm talking about Again, some of the clean designs, not texture dials, not waffle dials, just old fashioned cleanness, old fashioned sombers blue with Pepsi dial, a bit of touch with that red mini hands. That's all you need, guys. Like, seriously, even, even if you go to the office, I know it's a bit of probably out of, slightly out of the place depending on what shirt that you have, but I'm just, guys, even, even with a long sleeve. Turtle and bad, and again, my wrist circumference is 17 centimeters or 6.87 inches. It suits well, guys. It's 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 fine. I mean, you know what? You guys know, right? I'm a massive fan of um, Laris Uncle Straps uh, Seiko bracelet. You get it on on a Jubilee Z199. It's gonna trim trim the side down a lot. Are you gonna feel this watch right at home on your wrist? I would say between sort of six and a half inches or more. You mean six inches? Just give it a go, guys. All right. Now, just the unboxing today. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna find some time do some comparison between this and Black Turtle. You know what? In terms of color variants, I'm gonna have a look at my SKX double nine uh, double nine. Just guys, it's it's all part of the journey. Don't stress out about it. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful journey ahead. If you're buying a turtle, this is highly recommended. Okay, guys. No problem. I'll see you in the next video coming up shortly. And no doubt, uh, you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.